just wanna thank God for the way He made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much He loves me. I am so excited, I am so excited, and I just can't hide it, and I just can't hide it. Yes, I love Him too. Oh oh oh. Yes, I love Him too. It's true, God's love is special. Excited to be here. We are working through the month of November, and our theme this month is Thankful Tree. We are learning all about how God is good. Last month we learned about how God's got it, but this month we're learning that God is good. And no matter what situation we're going through, God is always, always good. So today we have another story for you guys about how good God is. And this a uh, particular story comes from the Old Testament part of the Bible. That's that beginning part of your Bible, if you do have one. And it is a man named Elijah. Elijah is a prophet. And a prophet means that he was someone who spoke on God's behalf to the Israelite people. And so today, we're going to learn about a story in Elijah's life. And during Elijah's time, he would travel from town to town to town. And one day while he was traveling, he became very, very hungry. And he was like, oh, I must stop for a food. And when he stopped in this town, he went to this lady who happened to be a widow. And a widow, if you don't know, means she has lost her husband. Her husband has passed away, and it's just her and her son. And Elijah looked at the widow and said, hey, please go back to your house and make me um, like a cake. And back then they used cake with flour and oil and they might have thrown a little other ingredients, but it was pretty much flour and oil and that's how they made like bread or cake. And the widow just looked at him and said, but sir, if I, if I give you, if I make you this cake, I will have nothing left for me or my son. It's the last I have to give. It's the only little bit of flour and the only bit of oil I have left. And you want to know what Elijah said? He said, you know what? God is good. And if you do this, he will bless you. And so the woman, believing in God, was like, okay. So she went back home and she took what little flour she had left, put it in a bowl, poured the little bit of oil that she had left, and she stirred up this little, I don't know, the flour and the oil. She mixed it all together. She baked it and she gave it to Elijah. And Elijah ate it, and he thanked it. He thanked her for it. He thanked the Lord 
for this meal and for providing food for him because he was very, very hungry. And the amazing thing is we know that God is good. And just as Elijah said, if you do this for me, God will bless you. The woman and her son had oil and flour for the rest of their lives. God made sure to always have oil and flour in their, in their jar, in their little pot. And they never, ever, ever ran out. Sometimes when maybe your moms or dads are in the kitchen, and they go, oh man, we ran out of milk or we ran out of sugar or we ran out of flour. We have to go to the store. We have to buy it. But this woman, because she believed in God, she did what Elijah had asked her. And she went in faith and made him this little cake with the rest of her flour and her oil, not necessarily knowing where it was going to come for her and her son. She did it by faith. And she said, you know what? I'm going to trust that God is good and he's going to take care of me. And in that process, she and her son were blessed. And so their oil never ran out and their flour never uh, ran out as well. And they had stuff to make food and all kinds of yummy, delicious things all the days of their lives. And what an amazing story that is to remind us that God is good. So even in those times when we get really hungry, we don't know maybe where our next meal is coming from. When we believe in God, we know that he is good and he is going to take care of us. So as you continue throughout this week, keep thinking of all those wonderful yummy treats and how God has provided for you and your mom and dad to uh, make sure that you are well fed. I love you guys. That's all the time we have for today. Keep being thankful for some of those amazing sweets that we have in our house. And let's see what Ollie and his friends are up to. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Hold and push. Hold and push. Oh yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Kai. Can you guess what I'm doing? That's right. I'm making bread. Well, actually, right now I'm kneading the bread. You fold and push. Fold and push. It's so much fun. But there was a lot to do before I got to the kneading part. First, I had to mix the flour and salt in the oil. Then I pour it in the yeast. You have to be careful with it and pour it in slowly. Then I mixed it into the flour. Finally, I got to knead. The kneading really is the best part of making bread. You fold and push, fold and push. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Making some bread today, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Kneading the bread is my favorite part. It's awesome. Making bread is fun. It's true. I know of someone who made bread just like you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. I'm Carrie, and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Whoa, Stormy Jane, hold on, silly dog. Wait, where's the toy? Oh, you brought me your bowl. She seems upset. What do you guys think Stormy Jane wants? Oh, food, I bet you're right. Are you hungry, Stormy Jane? I will take that as a yes. Have you guys ever been hungry? Like really hungry? Like so hungry that your tummy is making that 
rumbling noise? You have? Well, Stormy has, for sure. Which reminds me of a story about a guy who was really hungry. Let me get Stormy some food and I'll tell it to you. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah, who one day got very, very hungry. But there was no food or water anywhere. God told Elijah to go to a woman that God had chosen and she would give him food. So Elijah went off to find her. Tell me if you see the woman. A goat? No, that's not her. There's a man, but that's not who we're looking for. You see her? You're right, there she is. That's the woman God said to ask. So Elijah went up to her and said, Can I have a drink of water, please? And a piece of bread? I'm very hungry. I'm so sorry, she said. I don't have any bread. I only have a little oil and a little flour. I'm picking up sticks so I can make one more meal for me and my son. Then we won't have any food left. But Elijah told the woman, Don't be afraid. God will help you. So the woman went home, and she used the last of her flour and oil to make bread for Elijah. There goes the oil, and there goes the flour. Now she's got to pat the dough. Can everyone help? Let's pat it. Pat, pat, pat. Now let's knead it. Knead, knead, knead. Good job, little bakers. You can stop. The bread is ready. The woman gave it to Elijah, who was super hungry. Thank you, Elijah said. But what about the woman and her son? They needed bread too. All her flour and oil were gone. But remember, Elijah had told her that God would help her. Look, on the table, there's more oil and there's more flour. Elijah told her that God said she would not run out of flour or oil. And they didn't. From that day on, Elijah, the woman, and her son all had food to eat. They were very thankful for the food God gave them. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God helped the woman and her family. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! The woman made bread for Elijah, and then God made sure she would have more flour and oil to make more bread. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I know Elijah was thankful for that bread. I'm thankful for bread too. I should write that down and put it on our thankful tree. I'm thankful for bread and apples and bananas and pizza and I have so many leaves to add. See you guys next time. Goodbye. To the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107 1.